Greetings everybody and welcome back to Dover Sherborne High School as tonight the Hopkins and Hillers visit your Dover Sherborne Raiders. Brad Crandall has returned from another continent called, yeah. well the country's called Brazil. Yeah. Have a great time. Oh you know it was terrible over there. Ah. <laughs> Couldn't wait to come back. <laughs> yeah I had a great time though Bruce. Average temperature? Yeah so I mean yesterday it was like 100 degrees so Yuck. I'm happy to come here. Not good, huh? So no, they don't cool yeah. off down there, huh? Uh, not too much. <laughs> <laughs> you got the sunburn to prove it. Yes, exactly. We'll get into that much later. Um, as tonight, the first time we've done a game, that Theo Allen, the junior, has been such a good sub, he's now starting and wearing number, his number 21. John Window is up there with Mason Malkionda, two best friends, Gavin Lynch, and Charles Fang. Matter of fact, Wendell and Matt Lucky under this season are matching each other almost, you know, point by point each game. One scores 18, the other scores 18 or 19. So they've been very impressive for, for Dover Sherbrooke. That's great. For the visitors, Willardson, Ionelli, Pantera, Dedesian. What a pass. Oh. And DeLuca. Back outside. You look at that Pantera. He's a big shooter. Up and down. Rebound, Melchiondo. He's done much of that all season. Fly pass down the right side. Comes to... Wendell, Giono to Lynch, Lynch a three, just swims in and out, rebound controlled by DeLuca, brings it up the floor himself, DeLuca to the basket, nope, fakes, comes outside, they're giving the ball to Dadejian, Sam inside, a lot of time in the shot clock, and I think he took steps, yes he did, oh. he walked. So the only starter you're really not familiar with is Theo Allen, and uh, he had not been starting until recently, but he shows a lot of presence on the floor whenever Rick puts him in, and he's played good basketball. Yeah, he's got pretty good size, too. Yes, he does. Wendell driving against Willardson, back outside for the aforementioned Allen. Wendell pass. back inside, runner, no good, we're still at 0-0. Zero, zero. Oh, look at that. They're going to call that no basket. We've got a foul on the floor. I like Allen already, though. Just seeing him with the ball there. That was a great pass. Well, the reason Wendell scored, he did a foul. <laughs> he got the ball and scored. And that's why we're still at a shutout for each team. No score. Right side, Ionelli. Willardson. Back to Ionelli. Shoots a straight on three. Got it. Three nothing visitors. They just beat Holliston, uh, Hopkins, and did at home. Uh, by 30 points. So Hopkins, oh, they can my. shoot. They're four and two coming in. The Raiders are five and three. The Raiders have been up and down this season. They just want squeaker at Norton last week. Fang in trouble. Hands the ball off to Wendell. Sets his feet. Bounces to Fang. Nice tight defense, man to man. It looks like by the visitors. Melchionda open for sideline. We're tied. Beautiful. Nice splash there by Melchionda. Ionelli. Right side to Pantera. This kid can play. He's fouled on the floor. Push. Second foul on the team. Yeah, One he, on the visitors. Yeah, he can play, you know. He was playing some good defense on Fang there. It was a good pass by Fang to find Melchionda for that three. Fang's been playing great defense. And he showed some offense this year as well. We got an immediate whistle. Um, I guess the official didn't like the throw in. Huh? What? Yeah, I remember that last season. Uh, they throw Fang in there, play some good defense. Uh, correction, no fouls on Hopkinson, two on the, on DS. Wendell smiling, something's up here. I don't know, they're subbing in? They're subbing in already. Logan Del Ponte has come in. And uh, the days you went to the bench, that was quick. <laughs> oh. Deflected by Gavin Lynch, ball comes off the rim, and Lynch comes inside for the rebound. Good board there by Lynch. Look at this, Window Pushes off against his opposite number, in and out! Board's controlled by Del Ponte. And look, Del Ponte brings it up for Cooper Willardson to Sam Pantera, switches hands, comes up for a runner, off the glass, no good. Rebound controlled by Window on a deflection from Lynch. Rick Grady puts one finger up in the air, tells his team what he wants. Fang comes in, Fang comes in again. Fain tries oh. to draw the foul, nothing. Out of bounds play, Dover Sherborne. Yeah, it looked like DeLuca blocked him on that one. Lynch will put it in play. I think Rick told his team, don't get behind on Hawkinson. They're a good team. What do we got? A turnover. Ah. What? 
That was five seconds? I don't know. That was a quick five seconds. He must have a fast watch. <laughs> so an out-of-bounds turnover. Ball for Ionelli. Switches hands, double team. He gets away from it into the forecourt. Left side pass. Driving inside. Up and in by Del Ponte. Nice play off the bench. Yeah, it was pretty smooth. 5-3. Raiders trail. Oh. Allen gets crunched on the floor. I think Allen, the foul's on him, I think. He went chasing the ball, went down and fouled. A little frustration on Theo's part. No, it wasn't on Allen. <laughs> After all that, it was on Pantera. Pantera with the foul as Allen was chasing the ball. Pantera fouled him. 5-3, Hillers. Feed inside, oh. force feed, but Fang pulls it away from Pantera. Inside, Wendell, gonna go up, Wendell! Oh, oh. short and fouled. That's a great pass by Malkionda. I gotta remind you of something we talked about before you went away. There's no more one-on-ones. Every, every time you commit five fouls in a quarter, the team goes to the line to shoot two. Then it resets after each quarter. Ah. So you commit five this quarter, and the other team shoots, then it goes back to zero. I think the games are moving a little quicker. Really? 5-4. Five, 5-0-8 five, oh, to go in quarter number one. Somebody with a degree might have just figured that out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not my degree. <laughs> no, me neither. we got to talk about Drew, about Drew Hassar when we get a chance. That is remarkable. Yeah, excellent news. Next whistle, you can just talk about it. So proud of it. Seba uh, Sebastian is a brother. He helps us out a lot and plays GV basketball. Panchera skims the rim. Goes to the rebound. Doesn't get it. Melchionda does. Mason looks up the floor. He's got white shirts to his left and right. He turns it over. Man, what's up with this basketball today, Bruce? It's like extra bouncy. Yeah. Yeah. But both teams having trouble controlling it. Mm. Too much air? <laughs> well, too much air might do it. Right. But they, they must measure them before the game, right? We, we don't want to deflate gate either, though. No, no, no. Pantera, left side. Looks at DeLuca. Four, Del Ponte. DeLuca, I'm not sure if he's a shooter. DeLuca comes into the lane, he's a shooter. Nope, he passes <laughs> off to Willardson. Back outside, Pantera, it deflected off Fang, went out of bounds, and Pantera let it go. When you're a senior, you know, let the deflected uh -huh. ball go out. And when you're not a shooter, too, you got to pretend you're going to shoot? Mm -hmm. Really throw him off. Pantera's out, and returning is Sam Dadesian. Ball four. Willitson, left side, Ionelli, yeah. off the boards wow. and in. You know, the Dacian came back in and scored two points. Yeah, just some quick passing there. Good play. Comes Fang, Fang determined, hard dribbles to Lynch, oh, blocked yeah. and deflected. DeLuca getting a hand on that. 25, Del Ponte. Yeah, that's why DeLuca's out for the, most, for the most part. He's their tallest body. Except for this kid, Dadejian. Yeah, he's huge. Well, he took so many pirouette steps, he traveled. And speaking about huge, look, another tall guy coming out. This is... Wide receiver for the football team. Chris, yep. Chris Kiesling is out. And so is... You don't want to pronounce that, do you? <laughs> James Masanowski. Yeah, you didn't see me, but I was pointing to Bruce on it. I was hoping he was going to say it. I'm good with Polish names. I really am. <laughs> Easy. It always ends in, well, most of the times it ends in ski, and the rest of it you just figure out. Back out to Kiesling for a bomb. Oh. Up and down. Rebound controlled by Ionelli. Hook pass up the floor. Fake. Off the basket. No good. And a foul. Yep, they're going to get uh, Kiesling on a foul. Jack Ionelli will go to the line. So let's talk about Drew Hassar for a moment. Hey, what? She's, oh. <laughs> she's an ace, you know? She is an ace. She was an MVP of the Tri-Valley uh -huh. League in field hockey. And you just told me a major announcement. She has a scholarship. Yep, MIT. MIT. That's crazy. In field hockey. I know they play it, <laughs> but that's not what they're known for. But she's got a scholarship to nah, MIT. Yeah. Bright, nah, athletic if ever, girl. If you ever get invited, on, uh, do you want to be a... Or, uh, what is that show like to be a millionaire or whatever? Yeah, you, you want, know, and you, you phone be a the expert. You just oh. call. Just call her. Yeah, why not? I didn't know that. Should I call her now? I think she's playing now. She had COVID, by the way. Oh I, yeah. I know she's recovering from that. She didn't play last week. Just the same though. That's great for her. Keesling up. Got it. Oh, nice. 
Nice. So Kiesling has also improved this year. He's very aggressive, rebounds well. And he beca he's become a better shooter. Wilson. Yeah. You know, he is a he was the captain of the football team too, wasn't he? Yes, he oh. was. Wilson for three. Six to eleven. Raiders trail with 3.05 to go in the first quarter. Wingo comes left. Wingo's got an open spot. Shoots and scores. Nicely done. 11 8 under three to go in the first. How the ball, ball's just rolling in now. Ionella. Ionella almost called for a carry. Nope. Score. Nice Del Ponte. Don't let this team, you know, mesmerize you. They're quick. Yeah. Panchera about to return. Ball comes into number 23, Grant Sullivan, who subbed in. Wendell looking for a lane. Inside of Melchionda, up and good. Hey. These two played basketball from little kids all the way up to now. They know each other. Yeah, great Henry Wendell. Looking around, 34, Masanowski. Hands off. Inside feed off Masanowski and out of bounds. Looks like he was going for the alley oop mm -hmm. there. Yeah. You know, he's tall enough, so I wouldn't be surprised if they've done that before. Pantera and DeLuca return. Pantera six foot three. His average last year was 11 points per game and nine rebounds. A TVL, TVL All Stars, a junior. Oh, and he coughs that one up. Outside, Willardson. Pantera feeds low. Wisanowski goes up and gets fouled. Masanowski goes up and gets fouled, and he'll shoot two. All right, yeah, that was a good foul, though, by Grant Sullivan. Just playing hard defense there. Didn't let him get it for free. Did you see any sports down there? Is it mostly soccer? So, yeah, they have, like, um, I actually played a little bit of soccer down there. Did you really? Hits that one. Yeah, just in their backyard. Got a couple goals, so. How many players? A lot of them? <laughs> no, it was Just like, small? Yeah, it was like... No, do they speak English? No, so that's the thing. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just so happy to be speaking English right now. I this speak the, fast English. Yeah, this is the <laughs> most I've talked. <laughs> well, that's true, is it? Your wife being Brazilian yeah. and, your, and your kid going, what? I know, right? Sullivan! Hook! Oh. It skims the orange. It comes down to Pantera. Willardson brings it up. In this left side, hook pass inside for Masanowski. Yeah, just a big 17-10. man. 17-10. Grady wants a timeout, and I don't blame him. Yeah, the big man doing big man things right there. You'll notice on the sideline, Brian Olson in civvies. He's not going to play for most of this year. Harry Dummer, who's also in civvies, hopefully he'll be back in the second half. I have no idea. Hopefully. They both got injured during football season. Jeez, it's a yeah. dangerous sport. Maybe they should switch so, to soccer. So, um, other than your brother, who doesn't uh. speak a lot of English, but uh, <laughs> um, so this is the first real English conversation you've had? Yeah, pretty much. Does your wife just stare at you now and go, I don't want to talk to you in English yeah, anymore? Most of the times it's like, I'm just like, hey, what are, what are they saying? You know, like, <laughs> translate, please. Well, when you're playing a sport, it's pretty yeah. easy. Uh -huh. If they swear at you, you'll never know it. <laughs> exactly. I think uh, a couple people got mad at me at one point, and I didn't know what was going on. Did you ever swear at them and they had no clue what you're talking about? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Not that Maybe I would ever think accident? of that. Yeah, <laughs> we wouldn't think of that. But it's nice to have you back. Yeah, thank you. Tom Wendell was great. He is. And I told them, you know, down the road with the playoffs, we don't know what directions we're going yeah. in. So we'll see what happens. Same exactly. thing with Meredith from the girls' side. Especially, like, you know, COVID's out there. You never know when you need a good fill-in. And... Mm-hmm. He's perfect. And your family has gone through it the last couple of years, right? Yeah. When I left, what I say, I was like, hey, don't let anyone replace me. <laughs> uh, in front of his own bench, way nice. up in the air to Window. Yeah, Window like sees Kiesling. Kiesling bobbles the ball. It comes down, taken away by Green Team. Turning around with the ball is Dadesian. Bounces out this Pantera. The six foot three senior hands off to Willardson. Willardson want to shoot. Melchionda got in his face. Buck seven to go in the first quarter. 17 10 Hillers. DeLuca. Pantera. Respectacled. Up in the air. Oh, gets blocked. Great defense. Kiesling, I thought. Oh. Roll on the floor. No call. No call at all. They're going to be a traveling here somewhere. 
Yeah, that was like teamwork defense there. They called timeout. But I thought his feet were never on the floor, so I don't know when they called traveling, but the coach, Tom Keene, has been around for a while, called timeout. Do they play sports in Brazil like we think of them? Like, they don't have hockey, obviously. No, Basketball. no. Basketball? Um, so you know? I, I, they might have an Olympic hockey team, actually. Not 100% sure. They play basketball, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, they do play a little basketball. It's mostly futsal, which is like indoor soccer, and then football, which is their soccer. And um, But no real hoop basketball? I mean, so I went to like their park, and um, like it was like a community park, and a bunch of kids were playing soccer mm -hmm. and futsal, and it, it's crazy. Everyone plays soccer over there, and a lot of them play barefoot. Really? I don't know. I, I tried to kick the ball barefoot, and it hurts. I don't but know. But you're not used to it. Your feet yeah. are not roughed up yeah. enough. You should practice now in the snow. Can't do it. <laughs> um, ba uh, baseball, yes. Um, well, you, you're not in the yeah, season, obviously. I didn't obviously. see any yeah. baseball. Uh, but it's warm down there, so you might see, but you didn't see anything. Any. No. <laughs> Out of bounds play for Anthony DeLuca. It's definitely interesting. Yeah. A lot of bananas where I was. Really? Uh huh. Is that their prime crop? Yep. The Dajian shoots, gets a turnover, offensive foul. You know, it's funny, I don't know if that is like their main export or anything, but um, where I was, it was. It certainly was. Stay. I might have to get into the uh, import-export business. Oh, <laughs> instead of collecting chickens? Yeah. <laughs> Shipping chickens. <laughs> and, and hamsters? Never mind, we won't go there. Oh, is that a guinea pig? No, capybaras. Oh, oh, oh my. Ooh, oh. Ooh, yeah. Window. Foul on the floor. Basketball can be vicious sometimes, especially when you take an elbow from a big man like that. Did you say capybara? A capybara. It's a giant rodent. It's crazy. Where was it, Brazil? Yeah. Did you bring one home? I wanted to. <laughs> they have quarantines <laughs> at airports, you know. I'm right, surprised they let you. Maybe if I get into the import-export <laughs> business. I'm like surprised they let you back in. Tossing a capybara. Now, where did you come? Brazil? And you landed where before you got home? San Paulo. From Sao Paulo to where? Um, but to Logan? Logan. Yeah. Oh, so you didn't have a stopover. Um, so, yeah, there was a little flight before Sao Paulo. Cat, I, I can't even pronounce it. So um, it, within Brazil, you landed, you land, went up, yeah, went down. Yeah, it was down. like a two-hour flight uh, to Sao Paulo, then to Boston. Back to basketball. Yes. Left side, Gavin's open. Doesn't want to take it. That was not Lynch, that was Cherney, not, Lin not Lynch. Lynch on the right side, Fang. Outside to John Saber, who's come in. Lynch, they're working around the perimeter. Window, oh. fouled. Fifth foul on the team, he'll go to the line. Yep, that was Ianelli with the foul there. Thomas Cherney, number 22, is new. He's more of a defensive player from what I've seen. Sabre can do a lot. He played football as a defensive back. He's number 10, and he plays well on the offense and defense. Ah. So there's nice subs coming in for Rick Grady. That's good. Oh, he misses that one. He's upset with himself. You know, I, got this I got this bottle of water. I won't mention the brand name, but you're going to know what I'm talking about. The, my wife and I were talking, the bottles, the plastic is thinner now. Mm. So now you hear this. this oh, noise yeah. Because there's no thickness to protect the bottle from noise. Also, my wife buys 24 of them, right? One of them's leaking because it's so thin it leaked out. That's crazy. Yeah, it is. Any, anything to save money. They're cheaping out. Five seconds to go in the quarter. Ionelli waiting in the down low. Ah, Fang with the takeaway. Trip to the ball was Marcinowski by Fang. We're at the end of one quarter. Exciting quarter. Raiders didn't score a lot. They got some adjustments to make. Yeah. Deb, sure would you do. look inside my sleeveless? There's a pen in there, please. My sleeveless. No, this, this guy. Um, we got families here tonight. Brad and Cam Crandall, Bruce and Debbie Glazer, and Elsa is on camera. Hi, Elsa. Elsa Sukso on camera. Left pocket. Yeah, this one. Sig like Hopkinton all 
has the same shoes. No colors. Oh my gosh, no colors. No, the same exact one. Wow. We had a girls game last week. There were uh, four sets of pink sneakers. Yeah. One orange set. Hey, look at that. So it wasn't over. They had one more chance for a basket and uh, Pantera missed it. So what were you saying? They had five, <laughs> five pinks. Can we rewind and start <laughs> over? I'm really not ready for this game. Um, You're not ready. Look, your brother's already yawning over there. Oh, my God. Um, so the girls from Hopkinson, and girls are usually more fashionable. <laughs> the girls had four sets of pink sneakers starting. Um, we had Scalabrini with orange sneakers. The other team had a girl with orange sneakers. But you look at Hopkinson tonight, they're all white sneakers. All right. All the same brand, same style. Different socks, thank goodness. Yeah, huh? I know, right? That would be weird. <laughs> I don't think I could focus on the game if they all had the same socks. So what did you see down there that surprised you? Any clothing, customs, shops? Uh, the bananas, really. <laughs> the ban You're back to bananas. It, it was bananas, Bruce. And Everywhere? Too, so check this out. Yeah, I, um, I'm actually going to make a film. I took so much footage and stuff. So did you need permissions down there? Uh, no. No. Uh, maybe. You just, you just didn't tell anybody? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. So they, they had uh, banana cheese on their property. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, so I was able to chop one down. Had, yeah, you chopped down a tree or a banana? A banana tree. Oh. So we were eating free bananas the whole month. <laughs> Good for your tummy. Yeah. <laughs> Out of us, play for Melchionda. <laughs> I think we should stay with basketball yeah. probably. We're better at it, maybe. <laughs> Melchionda will put it in play. Quite fascinating. Yeah, I'm sure. Pass it back to Wendell. Wendell. He looks like he has a tan, doesn't he? Yeah. Spins around. Left side to Wang. Fang Going up in the ball. His score by Theo Allen. Yeah, good pass by Fang there. 17-12, beginning of the second quarter. Bruce Glazer and Brad Crandall back together again. Yes, it's, it's nice to be back. It is, I'm sure. When we went to Ireland and we landed back at Logan, it felt good. Yeah, I know, right? Like, oh. Even though we like pull up and it looks like we arrived at the North Pole. Still nice. <laughs> you did. <laughs> It was a lot of ice. And the snow was patchy in different areas. Nice throwaway. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, it was like nine inches, two dot, two times away. We got four inches. It just the snow levels bounced around uh, this that's one. That's so strange. Yeah, strange. But then it got icy. Yeah, that's not no, no bond. So on the turnover, Willitson will put it in play. Line drive to Pantera gives it back to Willitson. Willitson looking for some room, can't find it. Hands off to Ionelli. Inside feed to Dadeji, he picks it up. DeLuca to the basket, turns around, wants to shoot so badly and misses. Oh, Rebound team. deflected around. Oh. Pantera, nice boxing out, and he scores. He's just too tall. But great defense by Lynch there originally. Thank oh, come on. I didn't see the walk, did you? Me neither. I don't know who they called it you on. You know, I think they might have called it on. I Fang or Wendell? Whoever, uh, Wendell, I think, because he got the ball, never dribbled, and went in with, uh, his pit, with his feet to score. I think that's what happened. He never dribbled, so that on, didn't allow for the advance on the layup. Even if he I didn't think. dribble, come on, LeBron does that all the time. Yeah, well, oh. he's not the pros, you know. <laughs> so once again, it's a big lead for ah, Hopkins to nine points, and Hopkinson. Oh, Melchionda stepped over the line, and they turned the ball over. Too many mistakes well, in this first yeah, half. What I'm noticing, too, is like this Hopkinton, Hopkinton team is really strong. Well, Dover Sherburn, when they lose, turnovers are the problem. Look at this, Pantera wide open. No reason for that. Rick Grady wants timeout, yeah. and I would just say, sit down, boys. I got to talk to you. You're yeah. down by 11. What are you doing? And, like, did you see Pantera there? He just, like, good hesitation had... Three different hands from different people waving by him, trying to block it, and he still just got it in. We have a uh, 125 plate in the quarter. Raiders outscored six to two. Not good. No. No. Let's see what Grady can say to the guys that get him going again. 
What would you do for an adjustment? I haven't watched their defense that closely. I'm not sure what they were playing, but maybe they ought to change their defense a little bit. They look a little overwhelmed. Huh. They do have a high disadvantage, and which is why you got to see more of Keesley, Lynch. That's and, huge. Yeah, yeah like, those two. Do you think we'll see the, the tall freshman come out? Sophomore now. Oh, the tall sophomore. He hasn't played till late in the game. He has a warm-up shirt on, so I don't think right now. Fang will put it in play. Press is on. You can't blame them. They're leading the game. Yeah. Wendell has it. Bumped by Ionelli. And Ionelli first foul of the quarters on him. He earned it. <laughs> Official calling. A little conversation here. What? Okay. That was a call against the rep. <laughs> no, yeah, it looked like it. <laughs> Fangle put it into Wendell. Wendell against number three, Willardson. Gets by him. Right side of Fang. Fang, Fang look at this. Good. Nicely done. 23-14 Raiders down by nine. Outside shot by Willardson. Bounds in the air. Rebound by Dadejian. Pitch here is open. And you watch, young man. Uh-huh. Good break there from the Raiders. Look, we got number 25, Del Ponte, looking to check in. Taking out Dadejian. Right. Fangs come out for the Raiders. And in for him is Grant Sullivan, number 23. Now beyond to see Sullivan up Jules right. Inside to Lynch, waits, ah. shoots, scores. Yeah, Lynch. Nice basket, good hesitation. He let DeLuca go up and down and just went right around him. Uh -huh. <coughs> Jack Ionelli bounces inside to Pantera. Hook, short. Rebound, out of bounds. It, green ball. <coughs> yeah, I think that was uh, Sullivan making a miss. I think he got a hand on the ball. A couple fingers, maybe. <coughs> pass outside. Too far open was Willitson. Off and not. Lead pass oh. tipped away and stolen by Willitson. Nice interception to yeah. Pantera. Pantera waits for the rest of the squad. Ionelli drives in, runs it to the hoop, and doesn't score. Yeah, Willardson needed that interception then after that missed three. Window, baseline, goes up, draws the foul against Willardson. Um, Hopkins are interesting. They have four colors on their uniform. The prime color is green. Then they have orange, yellow, and white trim. I don't see any yellow. Yeah, look at the shoulders. You'll see it around the shoulders. Yeah, look at 35. Well, on the collar <laughs> and the shoulders. You've been away I too must long. Be blind. Yeah, I think the sun. <laughs> Dover the sun boy. has blinded me. I don't see the <laughs> Wearing yellow. home white and blue trim <laughs> as Brad goes for the <laughs> optometrist well, sunny tomorrow. Over there. <laughs> don't you see the yellow? Your brother's asleep, but he no sees way. it. No way, he doesn't see it. Well, he's not looking. <laughs> I don't know about that, Bruce. I'm going with yellow. <laughs> Ionelli. Everybody had black and white TVs. It wouldn't matter. All right. Ionelli against Melanson. Melchionda, somebody. Outside shot. Rims goes up off the glass. And uh, Melchionda brings it up. Yeah, good rebound there by Lynch to get it to Melchionda. Allen hands off to Window. 5.04 to go on the clock for the half. 23-17, Lynch sideliner, oh. overshoots, rebound controlled by DeLuca. Main reason he's out there, the big body, along with Marcinowski, 34. They got some bodies out there, don't they? They really do. It's crazy, and they got some on the bench, too. It's so crazy. Matter of fact, Gavin Cho's about to come in for them. Deflected away, interception by Malkionda, maintains his dribble. Comes by Rick Grady, Shoot two hands it up the floor for Lynch. Goes in against the big guy. Window open for set three. Bang! Perfect shot. 23-24, 27 to go in a half. Ionelli handed off to Del Ponte. Ionelli gets it back, drives through a crowd, doesn't score, but gets fouled. Yeah, it was still impressive that he got that ball up. Yeah, me too. The crowd like, like one that. and three. One on three. Right. 
Yeah, Second. Grady didn't like that call. Second foul on Grant Sullivan, Sullivan, nevertheless. Coming in is Cho. He had an older brother who played for Hopkins. He graduated last year. Coming out is Willitson. He's played most, just about all the game. Ball tipped. It should be white ball. Good stuff there by Lynch, though. I love the way that he plays. Nope. Green ball. Deflection off white. Yeah. Very good defensive player. His only problem really is he gets in foul trouble. Yeah. Outside shot. Good. Three-pointer for Gee, Del Ponte. The big man can shoot? Was that? Or was that DeLuca? I don't know. No, it was Del Ponte. Oh, oh wasn't it Del Ponte? Yeah, Del Ponte. 25. Wendell. Jono out to Lynch. She's Grant Sullivan. Hooks it over to Theo Allen. Baseline. Theo goes up one on two. Smart play. Drew the foul. Yeah, it was Ionelli smart. mad. He better watch it. Yep, DeLuca just taking him down. First foul on DeLuca, third on the team. Raiders only have one. So Theo will go to the line and shoot a couple. Theo had 15 points against Norton last week, including three threes. Melchionda had four threes against Norton and scored 18 points. And John Wendell came in third place in scoring with 13 points. In that game, Keesley got five rebounds, and Charles Fang had seven assists in that two-point win over Norton, 53 to 51. Sounds like it was a good game. It was. Yeah, Del Ponte uh, sits down for Dadejian. For how Show. Ionelli, I like the way this kid plays. He traveled. Oh, yes, sir, you walked. Hey, um, the girls won here against Norton by three. And the boys won over there after being down by nine at halftime. The boys came back and won at Norton by two. Wow. They shot 44% in two-pointers, 38% in three-pointers, and free throws, they were 87%. Those are great numbers yeah. on, in any game. It's a great game. 333 to go in the half. 26-22, Raiders trail. We got a push on the floor. Oh, and the Hopkins no. fans are happy it's against the Raider. Raider fans, not so much. Out of bounds play for Masanowski, I think. Is he putting it in play? No. Actually, 21. The Dajian will put it in play. They can't be doing that, though, Bruce. Kiesling is on Masanowski. Looks like two football players going against <laughs> each other, doesn't it? I think it is, right? Uh, going the other way. That's awesome for the Raiders. Fang in for Wendell, who deserves a rest. Yeah, Wendell, that clutch three, bringing him close to, to tying. Fang. Allen turns around, goes up, he's blocked, wow. but he scored. No, he oh. walked. Excuse me? Man. He was fouled. Drove in for a layup by the book, and they call it traveling. That's crazy. I thought it was good. And I have a new appreciation for Theo Allen. You said, I know, but it doesn't look like it. My wife is trying to show me it's traveling. Yeah, it was, but it really wasn't. Cho, hands off of the Dajian. Panchera. Cho, oh, stolen away by Kiesling. Yeah. Chris looks up the floor. Not a great dribble, so he hands it off to Sullivan. Right side, Malkionda. Mason drives against the Dajian. Outside Fang, got a foul on the floor against Hopkinson. It'll be their fourth on, uh, on 21 the Dajian, his second. So Cho comes out and Ionelli returns. 35 to Luca comes in. <laughs> the Dajian comes out. No wonder <laughs> I'm having trouble with the names. Yeah, musical chairs. It is. The flex off Fang Sullivan saves it with the light blue sneakers. Right. And, uh, blue and white. Oh, Stolen man. away. Ionelli. Good night. Goes to the right side and scores. Yeah. Big mistake. Yeah, it was a big mistake. Two, Perhaps I jinxed uh, 248. Allen a little bit there. To go in the first half. Way outside. Oh. In and out by Allen. Rebound by 35 to Luca. They do have a height advantage. They got yeah. Luca and Masanowski both out there. Total advantage. Jeez. If you want to let Willison score from out there, he's going to do it all night. 
28-25. The kid's got a hot outside shot. Yeah. Sullivan. Only, only three away though. Sullivan, oh, off to the right, yeah. way off. I think Melky on the save yeah, it. Yeah, he In a push out, it's gonna be Harpington ball. You're exactly right. Man. Yeah, that three-pointer was certainly not close to being on the mark. No, way off, 2.02 to go in the half. They updated the score, by the way. Yeah, I thought it was a two-point game, too. But I said to myself, no, it was never that close. They just corrected the score. <laughs> I know, right? 30, no, it was 24-22 uh, Hopkinson. It didn't seem right. And you said the same I thing. I said the same thing to myself. And I they just like, collect, wait, corrected the 31-22. Now they're looking up at the scores table at the clock to make sure they got it right. Yeah, that was... Uh, I have a feeling it should be closer. I don't know. But I didn't <laughs> think it was a nine-point lead. Tom and Molly McGill over there. Trying to give the home team an advantage. <laughs> Doesn't work, you know. And both teams are keeping scoreboards, and now they're comparing notes. So I guess it's 31 20. The radius, yeah, 31 22. Grant Sullivan is out. And, uh. No, the, uh, yeah, the McGills uh, coach the field hockey team. Little uh, daughter father duo. Great coaches, great people. Melchionda against Ionelli. Feed inside. Oh. Marcinowski. I look at Marcinowski and I realize he's not an outside shooter, but with that big body, he can go inside pretty easily. That's what he's there for. Yeah. As he lines up with Kiesling on the right side. Throw in. Caught by Willitson. Cooper comes all the way out, sends Ionelli to his right, hands off to Sam Pantera back to Jack Ionelli. Ionelli forces in out of bounds uh, play off white. Mm. Yeah, quick hand in there from Elkionda, breaking it up, but last touch by him. So Ponte is in for Willardson. It's crazy how the game's evolved so much, like to just three pointers. Seems. At least in the professional level. Yeah, you see more of it at high school now, but yeah. not as much as the pros. Yeah. No, not at all. No, in the pros, you see a bunch of three pointers. Don't you think? <laughs> Wendell with the ball. Buck 31 to go. First half. Some people say uh, Steph Curry changed the game. But you still got to have the ability, right? Sure. Max Glick making a debut and a shot. Got it! There it is. Hey. Thank you, Max. I know, right? That was nice. Yep. 31-25. Pantera holds the ball. DeLuca will just set it up from out there. He's running against Glick. Drives and nothing. He scores. It's a mismatch. Yeah, it is. But hey, let's see if the Raiders can rally back here. Man-to-man -man defense being played by Hopkinson. Shot by Chris. Hey, look at that. Kiesling. That's going to help. What All the way a in. pass. Wow. Low body inside. Ian Nelly, just perfect pass. Half a minute to go. A shot clock off. Wendell seems to be holding for one. Melky on the gets away for a moment. Back outside of Fang. They're working the clock. 18 seconds to go in the half. Kiesling. 10 seconds. I don't know seconds. how I feel about working the clock when you're down, though. Well, you want the last shot. Ooh, and that might be it. Got a foul coming up. Uh, he's pointing that way against... Hopkinson, so it's their fifth. Dover Sherman will shoot. Well, that works out well for Dover Sherman. Glick will shoot at the line, two. And with 1.8 to go, these may be the last shots of the half. Uh -huh. We thank you for watching our live stream of Dover Sherbourne Boys Basketball on Dover Sherbourne Cable TV as the
Raiders inch closer, 35-29. Sean Brown is coming as a shooter, I assume. First debut by him. Long shot. It was supposed to be a feed, a baseball pass down low to Brown, but it didn't work. No. So the score at halftime is Raiders 30 with 20 points in the second quarter. And the Hopkins and Hill is 35 with 18 points in the second half. We'll be back shortly with the second half of this game. This is Dover Sherborne, Cable TV. To me, sportsmanship is probably one of the biggest aspects of sports in general because it really does prepare you for life after sports. It teaches you so many life lessons and just being a good teammate uh, in sports, it'll prepare you for life because you'll always be in teams, you'll always be working in businesses, you'll always be working with other people. No, it's no fun to be the one person that takes everything too seriously and doesn't show goodwill to others, so being a good sport makes you more likable and it's just a good trait to have not just in high school but for the rest of your life. Sportsmanship means to me respecting um, the opposing team um, after a win or a loss um, to help ensure that everyone has a positive experience in the end. The MIA event that I went to was NESLC and it really had me think a lot more about sportsmanship. A lot of the guest speakers that we had they really put into me the idea that you need to respect your opponent and also respect who they are as another team. Look at it as improving on my own skills so I can win that game for my team. Being a good sport will always be important and just you learn great life lessons from sports and they'll always impact you later in life. Both teams are back on their benches. Actually, Hopkins is in a circle on the floor to our left. Hopkins will shoot right to left in this half. Dover Sherborne the other way. Bruce Glazer, Brad Crandall, 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 Cam Crandall, Debbie Glazer, and Elsa. We're all here. And uh, that was Sebastian doing the opening introductions, wasn't it? Because you haven't yeah, seen Yeah, it, it was. Unfortunately, uh, we didn't take it off mute until oh. right before the, uh, the anthem. But Oh, but he does a nice job yeah, he with does. it, doesn't he? He's got the good voice for it. Yeah, he does. I don't want it to go to his head, so I won't say anything Yeah, else. exactly. You know? I think he wants to <laughs> skip college and go right to the Celtics of Red right. Sox. Hey, he should shoot for the stars, that kid. i uh, got to tell you, when we get a chance, maybe not this game, I did a hockey game with my, a friend of mine in Franklin at their rink. Nice rink, but you know something? I'll just say it real quick. I don't miss hockey only because it's cold. I know. I, it's my favorite sport, but announcing it is something else. Yes, I agree. Pantera for Ionelli, a guy by Melchionda. Basketball is my favorite to announce. Nice scoop, but it's short. Advantage, Raiders. They trail by five. They come up the floor. Melchionda open for a sideliner. Good! Ah, oh, that was good. Yep. Make that lead two. Raiders back on defense, playing man-to-man. -man. Or are they? No, they're in, a, they're in a zone. Shot, no good. Looked like a 2-3 two, uh, two, zone? I gotta look at it again. Ah! Oh. Deflected out of bounds by Ionelli. It'll, it'll still be green ball. Hmm. No, it'll be white ball. Yeah, Raiders gotta stop rushing these passes that aren't here. It was off a green player, it's a white ball. Fang. Yeah, they, they're doing too much. Shot! Ooh, oh. off the back oh. of the rim. Good Fang! Board. Wants to go up, overshoots. Uh. Ball comes loose, controlled by Hopkinson. Off pin, Tara. It'll be Dover. Sherman ball okay. with a chance for the tie of the lead. And cool. Brian Olson gets his first touch of a basketball. All right. That's the start of his return. I was just saying they should just draw a little Nike symbol on that air boot and get him out there. <laughs> yeah. He might be back at the end of the season. Can't yeah. say for sure. Oh. Never oh, say my. never. The ball's deflected. Nice play, actually, by DeLuca, keeping it for his team. And Vidasian says, I can't finish that off. Yeah, I think uh, Lynch came back and got a hand on it. That's why. Wendell brings it back out smartly. He had nowhere to go. Now Wendell goes in. Outside. Feel Allen out. backs off. Got it. Double teamed. Way out to Fang. Fang with a lot of shot clock. Melky on to in the paint. Back out of the paint. Hands off for Allen. Small screen. Allen goes up. No oh, good. no foul, though. No, a lot of green. And on a breakaway. 
You give Aya Nelly an inch, she'll take a basket. Yeah, he's good. The 12th grader. Maybe the smallest player out there, but he's got talent and speed. Yeah, he does. Allen gets it knocked away. Ionelli one on one with Wendell. Uh oh, two on one. Uh oh, uh oh. Ionelli goes up. He walked. I'm sorry, he took a walk. Nobody called it. Outside for Pinchera. Pinchera turns around. Line drive. They work it back to Ionelli. Ionelli outside and taken away on an interception by Theo Allen. Melchionda all the way in. Score! That's my tide! Or are we? 37-35 Raiders trail. <laughs> Almost. Yeah. Yeah, and that pass, Ianelli put a little too much height on it, and it's going to be Raider ball. So the Raiders trail 37-35, not tied yet. And I got a feeling Hawkinson's going to use a timeout soon because yeah. they're a little bit anxious. I'm feeling that coming also. Yeah, it's a little pressure on them now. They got a two point lead, and they know that Dover Sherborne can come back. Dover Sherborne did not have a great first half. Mason Melchionda bounces for Fang. Allen, double teamed. Ball comes around for Wendell. Got a call foul there. Thank you. All right, yeah. Nice play by Wendell holding on to that thing. Hopkinton Thea's not happy, but he was double teamed and grabbed. Foul on Ionelli, his second. Yeah, they are definitely not happy. But you know what? Both both uh, sides aren't 100% happy with the ref, but at least they're keeping it. Are you staring at the camera of the game? Window outside, off the rim. No good rebound by his opposite number. Actually, he's not his opposite number, is it? No. Anyway, <laughs> off the glass, no good. Second. Rebound, Pantera. That boy plays well. Melky yeah, yeah. under with the boards, looks up the floor, comes past Ionelli. Oh. Ionelli on a foul. That'll be his third. Yeah, he 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 kind of like hip checked him. It wasn't a uh, it was not a hard foul, but it wasn't a soft one either. Who are we waving at? Oh, we're all posing. <laughs> There's no game on here, right? <laughs> <laughs> now Kim's gonna sell it back to us. Hopefully, it was a good picture of me. You missed our Christmas party. Yeah, time out. Well, I missed the Christmas yeah, party. Yeah, Debbie made cookies. Oh, you man. weren't here. Miss Debbie's cookies. Uh. So, as we said, Hopkins he needs a timeout. I understand you work just as hard as I do. I understand you want this as badly as I do. I understand only one of us can win. But if we don't show good sportsmanship, we both lose. This name. This logo. It represents something much bigger than me. It's a privilege. An honor. A responsibility. I understand that. So whether we win, or we win, I pledge to do my best as a competitor and a person. <laughs> Back court to Wendell oh, over his head. Yeah, wow. Brings it up. Watches Ionelli in his face. Wendell outside. Lynch set for the three. Oh. Boing up in the air. Rebound by number 35, DeLuca. Anthony passes up the floor to Jack Ionelli. Long pass down low. Outside, Ionelli. Bang! And a foul. Wow, that kid is good. Fang wants to know, what did I do? And I agree completely. How can... He didn't touch him. Is it on Fang? What did he do? And he looks small out there, but the kid's probably like 6'3". <laughs> Who knows? 40 to 35. Ionelli at the line for a four-pointer, and he's got it. No, he doesn't! No. I jinxed him. Melky on with the rebound to Fang. Fang's second foul. That was Glick with the rebound. Glick back in the game. John Owindle. I like the way Glick plays. It's a yeah. great sub. Outside Melchionda. Mason back to his friend oh. Wendell. Goes out of bounds. Bad yeah. pass. Should never have happened. No. Del Ponte is in, and so is the football player Masanowski. One football player, DeLuca, goes out. Masanowski replaces him, and the Dejan comes off, and Del Ponte comes in. Hey, look at that click. Oh. Stolen back. Couldn't get it. Tom Keen yelling out to his team that they need some help. Willison, Ionelli. Yeah, five point differential here. Oh. 
I'm looking at that 3-2 zone by Dover Sherborne. That ball is short right into the arms of Glick. Hands off to Mason Malchiondo across the timeline. Ionelli is fourth. Well, you tripped him. <laughs> He's complaining because he knows it's his fourth, but <laughs> you stepped on him. Yeah. That's what happens. Uh. I just love it when in hockey too you see it a lot. Me, I didn't yeah, trip yeah, him. Exactly. And you watch the replay. Yeah, you yeah, tripped him. Yeah. <laughs> but I was told my friend, we did a game in Franklin, right? Hockey mm -hmm. game. I'm going to Brockton, you wanna go there? And I said, No, it's freezing <laughs> cold. I'm done with doing hockey games in freezing cold rinks. Ah oh, man. Court violation. Yeah, Wendell's upset with himself on that yeah, one. He lost the ball, got it back, and went back to the backcourt, and it's a turnover, a backcourt violation. That was bad. Yeah, he and Melchiondo just made a couple of boo-boos that don't help when you're down by five. No. Cooper Willardson calls someone out to help him. Gets it back. Why, the Brockton rink is really cold, or what? Yeah, ACF rink, always been cold. Up goes the big guy, he scores! That'll be James Masanowski. Touchdown lead, 3.33 to go in the third. Click Great. it, double teamed over here. They like double teaming down low. Foul. Alkiana showing he can score though. Is that a foul? I think so. I think uh -huh. the foul's on. Let me. I'm confused. <laughs> well, who's coming out? The Dajian. It's his third. He's coming out with his third foul, and Pantera's coming back in. They got foul problems over there. Yeah. Fourth team foul of the quarter, one against the Raiders. 320 to go in the quarter. Outside, Glick waits. Glick shoots short. Air ball. Man. Rebound to Willison. Look out. Here they come. Pantera down the floor against Fang. Lays it up, but no good. Looks like he had, thought it was finished off, and it wasn't. Melchiondo the other way. Melchiondo drives and doesn't score. Kiesling with the uh, rebound. Bumps the ref by accident. I don't know what he called. He's calling it on Kiesling for charge. Was that a charge, Brad? Uh, I know he hit him. I don't think so, but... He said he held position on defense, so it's the second foul on Kiesling. Uh, it was close. Yeah. Now Raiders going to have to try to claw back into this one. Shows back in. He has the ball. So Del Ponte. Del Ponte gets it back. Feeds downstairs. Pantera. Fouled by Kiesling. Look at those quick passes with the tall guys, though. That shows why this Hiller team is pretty elite. Third foul on Kiesling. Pantera shoots short. Ah. <clears throat> Makes the second. Eight point lead, 247 in the third. Here come the Raiders over the midline. Wendell comes against Cho. Fangle set it up. <clears throat> Bounce pass to Kiesling. Uh, Didn't want to stay. Ball to Kiesling. Yeah, Melchiona kind of knocks it back into the Raider possession. Fang. Melchiona was set. Now he drives. Back out. Jono wants it. Jono baseline. Jono shoots. Misses. Ah. Good opportunity. Jono with the ball. In for Kiesling. 43-37, Brad. That was a hard-nosed basket right there. Didn't come easy. Cho. I don't think Cho's shot yet. It's obviously Willardson's running this team from the point. Off to Pantera. They look down low. Outside Willardson. Gets around window for the moment. Hands off to Masanowski. Back outside. Cho. Nothing. Doesn't want to shoot. In for Del Ponte. Nope. Six on the shot clock. Oh. Masanowski. Shot. Oh. Good. Was that Cho? I think it was. Uh oh, there's an injury. It looks to be Grant Sullivan. Yeah, he who's went down. hard to the floor on his right side. 
What a basket by Cho, though. They were determined in that play to make it 45-37. Yeah. But more important is the injury, injury on Grant Sullivan. Uh, hope he's okay. Chain is down there. That's his left leg. <clears throat> Great, you're going to talk to the, the team a little bit here. So for the visitors, Ionelli and um, Adesian have four fouls. They have a seven-player team, so if they lose two, let's just say, they got a one-man bench, and they got some other people there, but they haven't played. Yeah. He's waiting for him to get taller. <laughs> mm, could be. It's tall enough, I think. You know, my big question is, what's Jaffrey doing in the off-season? Somebody give him a basketball. You know, the running back for the Raiders. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some kids don't want to play basketball. Yeah. I, I'm not sure why. I mean, yeah, Jaffe was a good running back. Yeah, for the he Raiders, was. And I'm not sure if he plays any other sports. Really quick. Maybe he plays track. Uh, yeah. And they're going to help him off the floor. I mean, if you do track and field or indoor track, that would you know, that would make sense. Yeah, you're right. Nice hand from the crowd. Grant Sullivan being helped off the floor. And he's played well in his minutes in the game. He's going straight to the locker room. Oh, man. Wish him well. It's his, I'm guessing, lower left leg. I think it's like, it could be knee. I hate guessing. Right. No one likes to see that, though. No. Glick and Kiesling helping fellow man out, though. AG talking to the official. They're both smiling. Must have been a fun conversation. <laughs> Melky on to the window. Somebody made a joke, bro. I don't know. Fang, wondering where he was for the moment. Window. They, I'm not liking what I'm seeing. No, like, you can't <coughs> go in on these big guys. You, I think you got to try to set up for a shot. Sure. Oh. You try to go in in the towers like you're Spider Man. Doesn't always work. That was an offense. Was that a push? A walk? I don't know. No, it's a foul. Shouldn't they be shooting? Mm -hmm. Aren't they? It's the fifth foul. Well, hey, you're not the only one that's confused, Bruce. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> Maybe an offensive foul you don't shoot on? I have no idea. I don't want to know. Feet inside. Wow, force feet to Fang. He's got nothing. Big guy ahead of him. Yeah, they're tied up by these big guys. Malky Yonda, nice determination with a big shirt in front yeah. of him. 50 seconds, all alone. And he thought about too long. DeLuca, reverse layup. Hey, he good. didn't make that play good at all. Yeah, good break there. Nice uh, board by Theo Allen. Six point game, 37 seconds to go in the third quarter. Lynch. Melky Yonda scores. Yeah, okay. Nice 45 pass. 41, Brad. Closest it's been a long time. They're holding for one. Cho center sets it up. Left side for Del Ponte. Down low. Yeah, Theo can jump. He's got some ups. Green ball. Cho's out, and Willardson returns. Willardson, eight seconds, Del Ponte, back to Willardson, he wants to shoot, yep, there he goes, lays it up, shot, oh. quarter's over, it's a bucket, I don't believe it, and a foul. That counted, wow. Not only did that count, why would you foul him? Yeah. I mean, you don't want to foul him, but it's a terrible time to foul. They had it down to four, uh... I think he ran into now it's Theo six Allen. With a seventh possible. Uh, we haven't seen this kid shoot before. Marcinowski. Makes it. There's a reason he was shooting, I guess. Eh? Yep. Um, terrible way to end the third quarter. Down by four, then down by seven. Mm -hmm. Hawkinson so. with 13 points in that quarter. Dover Sherborne with 11. Uh, Sullivan. 
Still not doing great in there. His mom's come down to yeah. the uh, locker room, on the um, training room. So Dover Sherbo down by a touchdown. DS was down by a touchdown at the, at the end of one, down by five at the half, now down by a touchdown again. Team five and three, and if you look at their record online, they've been like two wins, two losses, two wins, two, and they just not, not consistent. Yeah. And they got some big teams they're going to play down the road. They've got to get better at what they're doing. Yeah, I think uh, the turnovers are really killing them. There's no question that's number one. Uh -huh. Some of it's focus, but I'm not sure what the rest of it is. Yeah, I don't know. <coughs> Maybe playing better team basketball. Easy to say. Mm -hmm. Not always easy to do. No. Lynch, Malkionda is on the bench, I think. Or is he? Well, Wendell's out there with Lynch, Fang, Allen, and Melchionda. The visitors have the Dacians back in with four fouls. Yep. 35 to Luca, Pantera, Fish. Willardson, and four foul Ionelli. Dover Sherborne ball. Raiders need to get that fire in them right now. Someone has to get hot. At the right yeah. side, Melchionda's open for a three. Got it! Yes. Shooter. 44. Got to play some defense. Pantera going in. Outside for DeLuca. Anthony. The Dejian. I would Sam let Pantera. them shoot if they wanted. Ionelli with 20 in the shot clock. Outside. Pantera. Oh, nice shot. Dang. And see, maybe that wasn't the right choice. Not Pantera, at least. Their defense is not as tight as it should be. Nucky yeah. for three. Ooh, oh, hits the nice orange. Board. Allen, Fang for three. Just hitting the rim and oh. now giving it up. That's how you lose games. Sam Dadesian all the way. Outside, deflected. Theo. Steal by Fang off of Allen. No, that was stolen by Theo Allen. Yeah, Theo Allen stole it, then he gave it to Fang, and they get fouled. I mean, Allen somehow kept himself from going down and stole the ball. The kid's extremely athletic. Mm -hmm. I think they got to check his shoes for springs, too, because he's got some ups. <clears throat> We're in the fourth quarter, 6.51 to play. We thank you for watching our live stream of Dover Sherbourne basketball from Dover Sherbourne Cable TV. 51-14, Dover Sherbourne will try it again. Got it. Outside shot, Three, oh. in and out. Rebound to Window. Jono right. brings it up. Okay, 6 here. 41. Five, here we go. Five point game, you hope. Swim oh. pass. It was a blind pass by Lynch, and he didn't know where it was going. No, I think he was looking for Allen, but it's too Wilson much. Wilson short. Window with the boards. Too much traffic. To Lynch, Gavin on the right wing. Gavin looks around, keeps it. Feed inside for Wang. Wang goes up, oh. short. How do you do that? You gotta tie the game up with you can't do without points. All the way in. Oh, oh now that can goodness. turn the game right there. You miss on one end and get a three point possibility on the other. Yeah, me and Ellie. Shining when it matters. Touchdown lead again. Keesling's coming back in. He's got three fouls, but he's got to be in there. Lynch coming out. That is Lynch's first. If they can't foul out Ionelli, then they got problems. He's got four, and the kid commits fouls. Mm -hmm. And he makes a three-point play. Timeout, Rick Grady. I think. No, no timeout. Cancel it. They sub up. Ionelli comes out. Cho came in. Gavin Cho for Hopkinson. Down low is Keesling. He caught the pass too deep under the basket, but he got fouled anyways. Yeah, Willardson getting in there, getting that foul. That kid Willardson does impress, um, impress me. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, the short people on uh, the Hillers are very skilled. 
they are. They got a good balance. There it is, Keys Link. And look at this. One big man in for the other. 30. Got Daisy in out, yep. yep. Arsenowski in. Your buddy Wilson now has three, four, four fouls. They got three guys with four fouls, 6.02 to go. Thank you, Chris Kiesling. Right, the kid's a shooter. I would give him the pass. Show bringing it up. When he misses, it's not by much. Show brings it around. Wilson. Show fakes, comes against Fang, drives and scores. Jeez, just look at that talent and size. Inside for Fang, at the foul line. Fees inside, basket, Allen. Allen. Time out, White, 56-50. I don't have the grade for Theo Allen. Do you know what grade he's in? Oh, he's junior. Well, that's good. Oh, you don't have, oh, you've got, what do you got there? Got a big empty spot right there underneath. Oh, he's right there. That's his height. <laughs> you've been in Brazil, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> He's still a junior, thought, by the way. That's <laughs> uh, so funny. It was under the last name category. Yeah, yeah that would work. <laughs> that threw me up. <laughs> you can still send you back, you know, on a one-way. <laughs> uh, after a 100-degree day, I don't no. know. That killed Humidity, me. Humidity, huh? Oh, it killed me. So the, happy to be the, in the North Pole. What was the Brazilian town you were in? What was it called? Um, it was, it was uh, Santa Catarina. That was the um, state, and it was... Uh, Jaragua. So you had to come, drive Jaragua. out of there to an airport, to another airport, and then fly home. Uh -huh. Not bad. Yeah. How long was the whole trip? You don't it was know? a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Probably like uh, like 11 hours. Yeah, we did seven or so Something to like Ireland. That. It's like, let me out. I know. But you can't do anything, right? So crazy. Yeah. Well, the red eye was the trick, you know? When what? you're all tired and you sleep. What time did you get into Logan? Um, got in this morning at like 6. Oh, that would do it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Up, nothing. Ball spins around. 5.18 to go. Keesling to Wendell. Drives against Cho. In for Allen. Shoots him. Hey. Got it. 52-56 Raiders trail. Ra Grady getting him back on defense. Pantera outside for Cho. Cho fakes. Comes left side. Back to Cho. Willitson. Pantera, look out for him. Oh, that kid. I know. You get him in tight within five, six feet. He's, he's a dreamboat. Kid's an all, he's a total all-star. Left side, Allen for three. I like it. It's out. Uh, Into the hands of his opposite. No, not his opposite. Number <laughs> new. Ball rolls out of bounds. Hey. White ball. Pantera can't believe it. Ionelli and Vidasian are back in. I think they both have four. That is a foul on, oh my gosh, is that on Willitson, his fourth? Yeah, so it is. They got four players with four fouls, 439 to go, and nobody's fouled out. It's a thin line, Bruce. It is. <laughs> Charles Fang, senior. Thin four. like dental floss. Kiesling, Allen, back to Chris, outside. Oh man, he wasn't set. Pinchera. Yeah, Keesling. He charged. Keesling stood his ground and forced Pinchera to the charge. Now, if you don't score here, I don't know what to tell you. Lynch is coming in, and Keesling's coming up. See, I'd like both big bodies in Me there. Me too. Yeah, in this situation, I would too. But who do you take out, you know? like I don't know. That's the tough part. Well, if I'm looking at who's in there. I don't know who I'd take out. I don't know. They lost oh the ball. my. Wendell gave it up. Breakaway. Oh, that hurts. That hurts bad. Timeout, too, I think, by Tom Keene. If they lose this game, missed opportunities, turnovers, mm -hmm. period. Yep. And a lack of a strong defense. They're yeah. not just getting set on defense. They're giving up too many plays. Go, and I give yeah. Hopkinton all the credit in the world for coming in here with a game plan that's been working. Yeah. Eight-point lead, four minutes to go. And the height advantage. Yeah, that's huge. That's definitely 
huge. No pun intended. Got it. It was actually totally intended. So yeah, four minutes left. Down by eight. Who do you put out there, Bruce? I have no idea at this point. I don't know who's <laughs> effective. I don't know either. I just don't know. I'm uh, yeah, you got Lynch, Fang, Wendell, Melchionda, and Allen. Star studded cast. Fang with it. What's he going to do? To Allen. They need some threes, but nobody's hitting out deep. Fang. Ugh. And you're not getting the rebounds. No. You're not boxing out against bigger guys. Did if you're not going to box out, the big guys say, okay, we got it, and they go the other way. Yep. Dadjian just climbing a ladder for that thing. Didn't have to climb too high because he's as tall he's as the ladder. He's already there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. All right, Nelly. Hands off to... Pantera. They're working clock now. Down to 10 seconds. Ionelli goes up and no! Oh. Good! And they call foul on Wendell. Oh my. Can you feel this game just slipping away? Yeah, totally. Ionelli's going to shoot. You know who I think took it away was Pantera. This is the first. Yeah, Pantera. When he hit that I three, and then... I'm looking around to see who else. I mean, there have been key baskets for them, but Pantera's been their player. Oh, yeah. Backed up now by the guy at the line, Ionelli. And Pantera gets the ball back. There's no, there's no way you can excuse that. No. You have the low men boxing out on the um, rebound, they didn't get it. No. Fight for the ball, gentlemen, or you're not going to get it back. The Dajian. Ionelli. I would have at least, like, wanted to see uh, both. Oh, my gosh. I would have liked to see the Raiders put out their big guys and see what they could have did against the Hillers' big guys at one point. Ten-point lead for the Hillers, their biggest. Lynch for three. Oh, man. Well, if you're not going to score, you're going to lose the game. That's yeah. simple. Pinto, yeah. nice for you, Dardajian. Yeah. Brady wants him back quickly on defense. There's no point calling a timeout, Brad. No. He said all he can possibly say, and they just stopped playing well. And Hopkins and all the credit in the world, and big disappointment from Dover Sherborne as Wiggle goes to the line for two. I mean, you can easily say they're four, th four threes away. That's like saying they got to climb a mountain yeah, and they I got know, little, little feet. That's true. <laughs> I had and to shoes that are too small. Right, exactly. Glad you got me out of that. Yeah. Oh, they're barefoot, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. The mud gets thicker. <laughs> exactly. All right. That's something. But if you don't stop them from scoring, you might as well just go home. Ionelli. <sighs> yep, they're going to be milking some clock here. Yeah. Down to 20 in the shot clock. 205 in the game. If you don't steal some passes. I would like afterwards to compare the turnovers. We come back here with Halls on Friday at 6.30, in and out. I would love to compare, I'll try to get the stats on turnovers by each team. Look at that too, Ian Ellie, one of the shortest guys on the floor, gets his own rebound. And they got a new 35 second clock to work with. The Dajian. Fouled by Melchionda. He just touched him, but they call a foul. I mean, he did he, touch him, yeah, but he made light. him fumble it a little All bit. All right, so. That's, but it's his first. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. One thirty-five to go. I don't think there's much hope. 
If you was had a small streak going, I say, yeah, they can do it. But I, I'm not seeing no. it. I've seen one maybe I'm back in the second half, early in the second half. I, I'm they kinda, made a mistake. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see how far this Hopkinton team can go this season. Yeah, they they're in the, they're not, I think they're in the, they're in the Tri Valley Large, but I don't I don't think they're in Division Three. They might be in two. I don't know for huh. sure. I don't want to play them again. No. <laughs> but they got the size to go a long way. Yeah, they do. And the skill. Nobody can put up threes. Fang doesn't score. What's the point? Yeah. You know, too many of the Raiders just weren't themselves tonight, you know. Keen wants the ball to move. The coach yells out, move the ball. And we got a foul on the floor. Now both teams with four fouls. And clear frustration. Twelve points in the quarter by Dover Sherborne. Sixteen by Hopkinson. They keep moving that lead up. Double teamed here. Knocked it loose, but look who gets it. Ian Ellie. Big reason why uh, the score is the way it is. They could have, uh, DeLuca could have scored, but they've been told to kill the clock. And no matter how you look at it, it doesn't matter because Gilbert Sherwin hits yeah. another foul. And that sends the green team to the line. Let's say at this point, you know. Like 50 seconds <laughs> to go. Well-earned victory for the Hopkinton Hillers. Hopkinton will be 5-2 and two after this game. Raiders will fall to 5-4 and four with Halston coming up here on Friday at 6.30. 6 we'll be live streaming as biggest lead of the game for Hopkinton. Fang brings it up. Fang drives. They're not going to follow him. And he scores. Oh. Timeout Rick Grady. Lead, lead down to 11. But... I have no idea what you do with a timeout here. There's no. not enough time. And you can't foul because they're going to go to the line. So uh. you got to set up a defense, maybe change your defense and try and steal the ball. There's nothing else left. No. Sorry. I'm sorry you had to come back to the North <laughs> Pole and see this. Uh, hey, you know what? There were some flashes of brilliance here by both teams. And you're going to go out in the cold. And it's going to be windy and rainy, Brad. What a night. Yeah. Well, I was impressed that the Raiders were able to make it close a few times during this game. And I'm wondering, the Raiders may be playing a team that is going to have a great record. We don't know yet. They're, they're going to be 5-2. and two. This is a very impressive hockey yeah, game. Seven games into their season. I personally think that they will make a good run. They can stay healthy and uh, continue to get better in the season. And out of foul trouble. Yes. And, you know, you said Tom Keene was a... Uh, an experienced coach also. and Good coaches know what to lot. do with a lead. Yeah, You've seen do. Rick Grady do it. Mm -hmm. Tom Keene's doing it. Yeah, exactly. Both these coaches are good. And a breakaway. Uh, Hi, Anelli. Thank you very much. Yeah. A little nightcap there. It's a good word for it. And they lose another ball. Yeah. And Wendell follows him. Wendell, Wendell knows he's had a poor game. Yeah. I can't say there's anybody in this Raiders team who has a, had a good game. Um, yeah. Go ahead. I, I would have to agree with you on that. Seriously. Some nice baskets, but nothing you'd write home about. Nope. 68-55. I was hoping that might be the final. You're right, though. Not one. No. Maybe Olsen on that sideline play. <laughs> <laughs> Sabres back in. Jono, Jono's out. Better figure it out by Friday, I'll tell you that. A Halston mm -hmm. is going to be very happy to play you. Sabre. Glick. I don't know where that was going. No. They're just going to run the clock out. Yeah, like, just... Congratulations to Hopkinson. They win 69-55. Good hand from both sides. 
a well played game especially for the Hillers yeah you know we saw what they were made of here and like you said I don't want to play them again <laughs> no not at all well welcome back Brad yeah you know it's still good to be back uh, but hopefully different outcome next game we'll move on to Halston this is Bruce Glazer for Brad Cranel and the rest of our crew saying we thank you for watching our live stream and cable cast at Dover Sherboard Boys Basketball. Until next time, so long, everyone.